today we are answering the question how to cook hot dogs and hamburgers on your offset smoker. One of the biggest questions I get is why don't you cook in your main chamber? Well today I'm going to do that because that's a very common question I get. Should you be cooking in this main chamber? What if I want to do all these hamburgers and hot dogs? Well, I finally decided today's the day. I'm going to do that. And I'm also going to do a hack to try to keep my chamber clean. But first, we're going to cook it the offset method. I'm going to put burgers and hot dogs here and then bring them up to a smoke like a reverse sear for a steak. And I did that video earlier and you can find it right there. But we're gonna finish them off on the offset smoker portion to get that flame, to get that crust on the hot dogs and hamburgers at the end. If you have questions like this, the first place you should go, if you're baffled by certain cooking methods on your offset smoker, is our Facebook group. The Kingsford Stockade 49 inch smoker and grill. We have a great group and it is growing fast and a lot of beginners are getting their questions answered, not just with this smoker, but with all their offset smokers and grills. So make sure to check that out. If you're a beginner, learning how to get your smoke on. Now, if you watched my video on biggest beginner mistake, you know that temperature we read that was up here is not the same temperature that's down at this grill level. But when we did our test in that video that I'll leave in the description, the temperature up here is very similar to the temperature you get on the top of your grill. My burgers right here, and I'm gonna put my hot dogs right here. And as you can tell, there is no sizzle because the temperature just does not get that hot at that part of the grill to create that sizzle. So let's shut this down and get some smoke on it. All right, we have some small pieces of oak in there over a charcoal base. All right, let's talk about party management. All right, if you don't wanna dirty up your main chamber and use it as an offset smoker, and you wanna load this up with burgers and hot dogs. All right, my temperature is reading 375 on my thermometer, which means this right here is probably closer to 350, 360. This is closer to 340 to 350. And over here is closer to 310 to 325. And we've done tests on the smoker and we've really dialed it in to understand the cooking temperatures. So that means if you load this up with hamburgers and hot dogs, all the ones over here are gonna be burning, cooking really quick, while the ones over here are gonna take a lot of time. So what I'm gonna show you how to finish these burgers off, once we put about 15 to 20 minutes of smoke on it, you'd wanna finish the ones to the right off over the fire quicker and let these ones take more time. delicious uh, doing it with that method the hot dog I tasted a hint of smoke but for the hamburger it's dry aged uh, dry aged burger we have 
I can't tell if it was more dry aged than smoke showing up in the burger flavor. We only had to smoke it for about 10 to 15 minutes. They were smaller burgers. And then putting that final sear on, it was delicious. And I don't know if you saw, but I put that drip jam. If you don't know what drip jam is, it is a game changer. You will have trouble going back to ketchup on a burger after you have drip jam. But anyway, that was our first test. Great. It didn't muck up, junk up my main chamber too much but we are going to do a second test where I do the chamber is full of charcoal and we're gonna cook directly there to see if we're picking up any different flavor tones, anything like that, or is it really easy or really hard to get a good consistent temperature because I feel like that chamber is really deep. So I don't know if the charcoals are gonna get hot enough to satisfy and get that burger cooked the way I want it to get cooked. Let's find out. Right, guys it is moment of truth actually no this is just a regular charcoal burger i'm actually super excited to try it because i got some Harmon heat special hot sauce on here and i just know it's going to be amazing that is really good justin thank you again for sending me that Harmon heat um all right, so mission accomplished. I would say using this tinfoil aluminum pan hack really made things easy to keep clean. But you gotta realize the size of your aluminum pan is gonna be your cooking space. So I don't know how many burgers or hot dogs you're trying to throw on here, but you could get away with probably throwing 15 burgers on here, getting them on and off you'd be all right you know my my biggest takeaway for me i have a weber so i don't know why i would double this up but you know thinking about it i realize why people just buy the all-in-one they have a smoker and they can get that weber like experience of true direct charcoal you know i'm just thinking why not just try to cook in this hot firebox. There is a lot of surface area here. The cleanup looks relatively easy, so I'm not worried about that. 
You know, I'm really struggling just to find an explanation to, I don't know, for me, I would just never do this again. I get it. There's a lot of people that are big hamburger, hot dog people, direct flame, and I get that. But if I'm going direct flame, even if I'm having a party, I feel like I can get as much direct flame as I need in the offset. This, I would still rather, I'm just hung up on this. I still would just rather get ribs that were smoking, chicken were smoking, brisket, instead of doing hot dogs and hamburgers. But I could see why you would do this. You got a big family gathering coming and you want to double it up. Yeah, you can do it. All right, it's been proven. We got lots of people in our Facebook group that do this all the time. And that's actually where I got the idea for the tinfoil. So thank you again, Facebook group, for that. Uh, but I'm just not a hamburger hot dog guy, as you can probably tell with the way I was flipping them. It's just not what I normally do. Um, I do smash burgers, and that is something we'll talk about because you need to do a smash burger. It'll change your life. I don't know. I'm kind of at a loss. It worked, it got the grill pretty hot, as you saw. Um, I don't know, I'm just really at a loss. Does it work? Yes. Can you use your firebox? I would, that's my takeaway. Uh, but both burgers, both the different ways we did them turned out great. You could definitely taste more smoke flavor in the burgers that we reverse seared, like we would have done on a steak. Uh, for this, this was just regular charcoal, so that's it. That's all I got, people. I'll see you next time.